Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain humidity measurement. The topics for this video are what is humidity, then types of humidity, later on I will explain hygrometer and their type, then last topic will be a sling psychrometer. So let's start with the humidity. Humidity is actually amount of water vapor held in the air. As temperature increases, the water holding capacity also increases. It means that higher the temperature, it is it can be the higher humidity. But humidity is actually classified into three different types: that is relative humidity, absolute humidity, and specific humidity. Now let's start with the absolute humidity first. Absolute hu humidity is the actual amount of water vapor in the air regardless the air temperature. Its unit will be grams per meter cube. The higher amount of water vapor, higher is the absolute humidity because it is just the weight of the water vapor. For example, if an air consists of 30 grams of water vapor per meter cube, then we can simply say that it is having the absolute humidity as 30 grams per meter cube. It is the maximum amount of water vapor that can exist in a meter cube volume of air. Now next type of humidity is the relative humidity and actually this is one of the most famous type of measurement for the humidity and it is generally expressed in a percentage and it depends on the temperature also. It is the measure of amount of water vapor that holding that is holding compared to the amount of water it can hold at a specific temperature. Now focus on the definition again. It is the measure of amount of water vapor that air is actually holding at a particular instant of time and it is compared to the amount of that it can hold at a specific temperature. As previously stated, warm air can possess more water vapor. A relative humidity of 50% means that air holds on a day at specific temperature holds 50% of the water needed for the air to be saturated. The saturated air has a relative humidity of 100%. Now, uh, let's see, uh, let me explain what is actually the specific humidity. Now, last type of humidity is the specific humidity. It is the weight of water vapor contained in a unit weight of air. Absolute humidity and specific hum humidity are quite similar in concept. How is humidity measured? Actually, humidity is measured by using a special device called hygrometer. So let's see the classification of hygrometer first. Hygrometer is basically classified into first one as a mechanical hygrometers. They are used to make the principle that organic substances like gold bitter skin or we can say that ox gut or a human hair can contract and expand as according to the humidity and this contraction and expansion can be used for the movement of the needle in the dial and therefore we can measure the humidity by using such a hygrometer and these hygrometers are called as mechanical hygrometers. Now next type of hygrometers are the electrical hygrometer which can use lithium chloride or mostly the semiconductor devices. Uh, which will change as per the humidity. Other hygrometer senses change in weight, volume or transparency of the various substances that react to humidity. So there may be many types of electrical hygrometer. The last type of hygrometer is the dew point hygrometer and they are used to measure the saturation of moist air in the gas and this is one of the most precise types of hygrometer which can be used in the industry because here its accuracy is 
very very good and uh, dew point hygrometers typically consist of polished metal mirror that is cooled at a constant pressure and a constant vapor content until moisture is just start to condense on it the temperature of the metal at which condensation begins is the dew point so this is about the hygrometer now let's see one of the famous types of hygrometer that is a sling psychrometer and this is a diagram for the sling psychrometer which is consisting of two different thermometers here here you can see that this is a dry bulb thermometer and this is a wet bulb thermometer actually a wet bulb thermometer is having the cloth wick here which is on the tip of this thermometer here this dry bulb thermometer is used for the measurement of dry air whereas wet bulb thermometer can further be used for the measurement of relative humidity as the water molecules evaporates from the surface of wet bulb they will take heat with them lowering the reading on the thermometer actually what we do in the procedure we just wait this the wet bulb thermometer and therefore its temperature will start dropping and therefore in this case the temperature at the dry bulb thermometer will be higher as compared to well wet bulb thermometer and the rate of evaporation actually depends on the wet uh, vapor pressure or the amount of water vapor in the air at 100% relative humidity there will be the no there will be no difference between these two therm, uh, thermometers temperature but at uh, but uh, for most of the times there will be the difference and it is having less temperature that is wet bulb having less temperature as compared to dry bulb thermometer and one specific chart is used for the measurement of relative humidity this is a sling psychrometer picture uh, and you can see here that relative humidity conversion table in this case how it can be measured let's see uh, let's assume that the dry bulb is having temperature as 20 degree and let's assume that wet bulb is having temperature as 16 degree centigrade now in this case let's see here on the table here dry bulb is having temperature as 20 degree so we have to go through this row now let's see the difference between dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature now it's 20 minus 16 degree that is 4 degree will be the difference and therefore we have to look into this column now this row and this column that is will indicate the 66% as the relative humidity and in this way we can measure the temperature by using a sling psychrometer and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you